All right, hey guys. Um, just wanted to shoot a video um, showing off the um, the smart mirror I've, I've um, created using smart tiles and smart things. Um, this is, I guess, 2.0 of the project. Um, so you can see I've actually included another old Android. I have a phone in there now as well. So there's um, there's two screens behind the mirror. Uh, this is a proof of concept. This is a very flimsy, cheap two-way mirror. I already took the frame off. My wife used it for yeah, the kitchen. Um, and so the reason I broke it out into another screen is really, it, it was getting cluttered. Smart Tiles is really not designed for, for this purpose. Um, so I've taken steps to declutter it as much as possible. I've removed titles where I've needed to um, with custom CSS. Um, but you can tell it looks pretty good. What I've done here, I've, I've put most of my sensors uh, on the phone, and it's obviously they're much smaller tiles, and they'll only pop up uh, when needed. And this is the main screen, obviously with time, weather, um, house mode, whether or not smart home monitor is active or not, uh, some main temperatures, and then it appears like there's nothing else. So what I've tried to do is, um, you know, when something is not in use. It's you, you don't see it on the screen. So we want to we want to keep real estate as uh, as much real estate as possible. So the mirror can be a mirror, and then when when things happen or need to be shown, they'll show. When a light turns on, um, I just turn one on. Let's wait for the for smart house to refresh. When the light turns on, uh, you'll see, <clears throat> you'll see. It. There you go. Um, the front light is turned on. Let's turn on a few more. Um, okay, so um, generally below here is all uh, lights. So uh, again, talking about real estate, um, there you go, some more lights popped on. Since you can't, it's not touch enabled, it's behind a mirror, uh, you're, you're stuck with one screen, you can't scroll your tab, right? So everything has to sort of fit on the one screen. Um, so that's why I've really offloaded this, the, um, the temp uh, uh, other sensors over here. I've also made a few um, sort of creative uses of virtual switches. So um, for example, right here, this sort of frame, right here, this is my, uh, my downstairs thermostat, my upstairs thermostat. Here's a, we have a temp sensor in our family room. And then um, I've created a virtual switch, uh, which, uh, let me show you when I turn it on. It's, um, it'll allow me to, to see if the heat is on. Okay, so boom, it just popped on. When the heat is running, uh, that virtual switch will uh, turn on and I'll see a cool flame. Um, so I know the heat is actually running at that moment. I generally kept the icons pretty straightforward. I, we have a, 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 a lamp that's shaped like a moon for my kid and so, um, I, I made one uh, one adjustment there, so it's the moonlight that turns on. That's annoying. I'm trying to show you this smart tile. Where is it? So when the alarm goes off, a special smart tile turns red with the alarm, the house siren. There you go. Other things that I have in here, I have um, sort of a jerry-rigged um, camera control that turns on at night. Um, uh, so that's one thing there. And then we have a, a Roomba that's hooked up. When that's running, you can you may hear it, it's actually running in the other room. Um, but we have another tile that turns on, lets me know the, the, the vacuum is vacuuming. Uh, let's see. There it is. See, it's how it's a, a smart, a smart mirror. I figured there should be some, uh, you know, health-related um, information here. So uh, I, I wear a Fitbit, um, and so it, it logs my sleep and my weight and, and my steps and everything like that. Now, I, I, right now, I'm using. Um, a, a, simula a stimulated temp sensor to, to just 
to do this. This is manual, these do not work, but um, if I knew Groovy, I would create some sort of RSS enabled tile, um, or I'm sorry, RSS enabled device handler that could, could read an RSS and see what the current thing is. So, you know, um, for example, and, I'm, and, I'm, and forgive me, I'm grossly overweight and I, I slept okay last night, but um, so, uh, you know, an RSS enabled device handler would uh, would would read my latest uh, weight and, and and bring it to uh, smart tiles in that way. This is a, a hack, a workaround, but just just something a sort of proof of concept, um, you know, just to, to have here since it, it, I feel like there should be some health related information in a smart mirror. You know, that's really it. I also created a virtual tile for heating set point. You know, I'd like to know what the heat is set at. Um, again, it's a virtual tile. I'm not quite sure if there's a way to to do that. I probably could set it with a roll machine or something um, with a virtual thermostat. Um, I didn't really dig into it. But there it is. Um, so, hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks. Bye.